welcome back to my channel and today I have a video for you that is a request video from a viewer they wanted me to make a paint stir stick tray so I thought about this in the past but I kept putting it off but I think it's a wonderful idea um, she said she wanted to put a lantern in it and decorate it for fall so this is how I would make a paint stir stick tray okay so you can go to Home Depot or Lowe's and get the five gallon paint stir sticks um, because they are much thicker and heavier okay and I have a combination of Lowe's and Home Depot um, Home Depot sells theirs for 98 cents for a three pack I don't know how much Lowe's sells theirs for because I had some of Lowe's already so um, I only had to go to Home Depot. Okay, you're gonna need a total of 15 paint stir sticks that are the five gallon size, okay? So you're gonna need that, and then you're going to need some 1 8 inch plywood that we just had laying around the house. And um, you wouldn't have to do that, but I wanted to make my tray so it's interchangeable. You can pull the inside out and change it up for different um, seasons, okay? Plus, it's gonna make it sturdier, all right? Then you're going to need some Mod Podge, and I have the mat, I bought that at Walmart. You're gonna need some foam brushes, some cling wrap, a tape measure, um, and then you're going to need, I've decided to paint mine with this Waverly chalk paint in hazelnut, like I did my big picture over in my dining room, and I love it. You're going to need some wood glue. Now, for time purposes, I'm gonna use hot glue to glue mine together, but if you want this to be strong and withstand putting a tray on it and picking it up, then you need to use some wood glue or E6000 with a combination of E6000 and the hot glue or some construction adhesive. And I'm also gonna use some tiny brads, maybe. You really should, I don't know that I will. Um, and then I found these beautiful napkins at Party City and I'm gonna decoupage this in the center of mine. I think it's gonna be beautiful. And then I picked up, you're also gonna need a 3 8 inch drill bit. And I picked up some um, handles from Lowe's because I wanted mine to just be, I don't know, kind of rustic but pretty. And these are the Allen and Roth, and, um, and it's just a pull. And they were $2 and something, they weren't that expensive. So you'll need two of these and they come with the screws, all right? I'm gonna put some of this aluminum foil down so I don't get my surface dirty. And then I'm gonna just start painting my stir sticks and this big piece of plywood with that chalk paint, okay? And you wanna paint them on both sides because they are gonna be seen. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is just lay these all out, and I'll go over the sizes that you need to cut them and all that in a minute. So I just wanna get these laid out and start painting them. But I think this is gonna be really, really pretty. And you can pour this chalk paint out on a um, paper plate if you want, but I'm just gonna dip my um, brush down in here, and I'm gonna give it probably just one good coat. It depends on how it dries. If I put more than one on there, I'll let you know. But this is what I'm doing. I'm just gonna paint the top, the sides. You wouldn't have to paint um, the bottom of these because it's actually gonna be the bottom. But if you wanna just make sure that it looks good all over, I'm gonna just paint it all over and then paint the end. So I know you know what I'm doing. For So, so for time purposes, I'm gonna go away and paint all this and paint my plywood, which is 1 8 inch, and then I'll be back. Okay, what I've done is I went ahead and I painted these uh, paint stir sticks and some of them I gave two coats, especially the ones from Home Depot are easier to cover uh, than the Lowe's. You could put a coat of gesso over it and it wouldn't be a problem at all and then paint. 
Now these um, are covered nicely. These are from Lowe's. This is the back, but I don't mind this because this is gonna be the very bottom of the tray. I could keep putting um, coats on there and it would cover, or I could cover it with gesso, but it, it doesn't bother me because you're not gonna see it. And then I just painted the bottom of this, okay? So it dries really quickly. So what I'm gonna do now is just scoot all this over and then bring this over here and we'll start decoupaging and then we'll start putting it together. Okay, what I did is I cut my napkin in two. It's a very large napkin when you open it up and it had this on the top and I just cut it down the middle where the crease was and at first I was just gonna put like half of one on here, but then I thought, no, I really love that. So what I did is where all this is right around the edge, I didn't want that. So I took a pair of scissors and just cut that off all the way around and separated my plies and that gave me this. And I really do love that. That is gorgeous, but you can see I don't have anything around it as an edging, okay? So what we're going to do is put down our Mod Podge now. Okay, I'm just gonna pour some out here on my plate. And get a foam brush and see where I want this. And go ahead and tear you off some Saran Wrap because you're gonna need it. That will help your napkin. Um, I don't care if I get wrinkles, but it does help get rid of the wrinkles, but it also keeps your napkin from tearing. And just see where you want to place it, about roughly where you want to put it. So I'm gonna just, I think, just start putting this on here. And like I said, this is already dry. It doesn't take this stuff long to dry this paint. It dries very quickly. So you can actually do this in just a matter of hours. It doesn't really take that long to do this. But I mean, you can use any napkin that you like. My Mod Podge is getting all, I didn't shake it up good. Um, you can use any napkin that you want. You can use any colors that you want to do this. This is really gonna give us a cute effect. Okay, then I'm gonna try to figure out where I want this. You could measure it. I'm going to kind of try to eyeball it. Okay. Then I'm just going to get this and just smooth it out from the center out and down. This is going to be, and then right here in this corner, I didn't have enough Mod Podge there. So, no problem. I'll put some down. Get me a little paper towel. And you can use baby wipes. I just don't have any right now. And that'll clean up that excess Mod Podge nicely. Okay. And just keep smoothing it out. Like I said, I don't care if I have some wrinkles because I like my things to look old. But if you don't want to, just keep going. And then we're just gonna pull this back ever so gently. But it really, I don't see any wrinkles. And then I'm gonna go dry this with the hair dryer, and then I'm gonna come back 
and put another coat of Mod Podge on the top, but this is what we have. I really do love that. You could even turn this into a sign. So I'm gonna go dry this and then I'll be back. Okay, I just took it in there, used a hair dryer on it, set on um, warm, medium, and sometimes I use low cool, it just depends. But you could even cut out the pumpkins and place them where you want it. You could just put half on here. You could do so many different things with this. Okay, now I'm going to get me another piece of cling wrap. And you could use the other one if you wanted. I just don't want to. And get it ready. Then we're just going to take this and just start applying delicately, very gently over what we just did. And you don't have to use a foam brush for this if you don't want. You can use just a regular brush. That would work very nicely. It's really whatever you want to do. But we just want to make sure that we get this sealed down on here really well because we don't want it coming up. Now I am making some wrinkles doing this, but like I said, I don't mind it. But if you don't want wrinkles, you could use a different brush and be much more gentle than I am being. Okay, and then we're just going to put this over this and smooth again. Then you can ball this up if you want in any place that you think that you need to take care of, you can. Now I did get rid of most of my wrinkles again like that. So that, you know, is good if you don't want wrinkles, but like I said, it doesn't really bother me. And then just go around the edge if you want. It does dry clear, but it leaves a film and I'd rather not have that film. But like I said, a viewer told me about baby wipes. I just haven't gotten any. But she said it would take this up really easy and I'm definitely gonna have to get some. I love the tips you all give me. All right, now I'm gonna take this in there and uh, dry it and then I'll be back. Okay, I have it dry and it really turned out nicely. I love how this turned out. It's really, really pretty. Like I said, you could cut the pumpkins out. You could cut it in half. You could even not put anything on the bottom. Okay, so I'm gonna set that aside for now, okay? And set something on it since it was dried it's trying to bow up in the middle just a little bit okay so now we're going to start assembling this so like i told you earlier you need seven paint stir sticks of the five gallon and they're cut at 16 inches long okay and these are going to be the bottom of your tray then you're going to need to cut two that are 16 and a half inches long and I'll show you what we're gonna do with those. Then you're going to need to cut four of them 
nine and three fourths inches long. Two are we gonna be using for your handle and the other two, I'll show you what we're gonna do with that. And then you need to cut two 13 and a fourth inches long and that's gonna be the support. We're gonna put two 13 and a fourth inches long like that and we're gonna have the long one in the middle and the short on the side like this. You're just making a box. Now like I said, you what you wanna do is use construction adhesive or something to glue this together and you could also put brads in here. I'm just gonna be using hot glue for now, okay? I just don't have time to wait for things to dry and everything else, all right? So make sure you line these up good, squeeze them in. This is so easy to put together, it really is. But if you want it to be able to hold the weight, you're going to have to use either a combination of E6000 and um, hot glue or construction adhesive or something or it will not support that weight. And I would put clamps on these while they're drying, but I'm just gluing mine together, okay? Okay, now you're gonna take these two that you cut 16 and a half inches long, and we're gonna use these for the sides, like this. You find which side looks the best. And then we're gonna take these two and use these. These are the other two that were cut at nine and three fourths inches, and just snug these in here. Now, because how this tray was made, I had to put my handles up higher. So I had my husband just drill with that drill bit according to the size of um, handles that I chose. And they'll show you right here on the package where your center is. Mine was at three and seven eighths, okay? So that goes like that. It's gonna be very sturdy, I'll tell you that, okay? Now, um, you don't have to put a handle on them if you don't want to, but I just wanted to. So let me see how I'm going to do this. So I want to do this. Okay, so I'm going to do, I think, the sides first. I'm just gonna put some glue and make sure when you do yours, if you're doing them at putting handles that these holes go towards the top, okay? And just put you some glue. I found that my glue is sturdy. <laughs> I had to pick, tear something apart earlier and I was like, ugh. I had to pry it apart literally. Okay, there's that one. Then I'm gonna put this side on. It's really easy. I hope I'm not making it sound confusing. Okay, and you just push. All right, then all we have to do is just glue this together. And we are almost finished. But it really isn't a hard DIY at all. You just have to make sure that you get these nice and flush and a clamp would definitely help that immensely but I don't have a clamp right now. But you would definitely clamp yours. And 
mine is pretty, pretty close, actually. And that is what we have so far. It is really cute, but you can see the construction, okay? Now what I'm gonna do is run and get a, um, now I tell you one thing, my husband had to um, cut the holes um, for my screws are three eighths of an inch because we didn't want it sticking way out. So you can either get screws that are three eighths of an inch or you can cut them off. And um, mine are cut off, okay? My husband cut them off. All right, so I need to go get a Phillips screwdriver and I'll be right back. Okay, I think this one will work. All right, all I have to do is just Put these in here like this. And then just start screwing this in. But depending on what um, handles you get, this part will be totally different, okay? So I have this one put on, as you can see. All right, and for time purposes, I'll go ahead and put this on, this other handle on because I don't want this video to be real long. I'll be right back. Okay, I have both handles on and I think it's really pretty. And if you wanted, you could um, dry brush it with a little bit of a gold to give it a little bit of a, of a different feel. And I may do that, I don't know, but that's how it looks like that. And from the side, I really do love it. Um, now, I forgot to mention that how my husband cut my paint stir sticks for me. Um, he has a circular saw and he just taped them together and I helped him, you know, tape it, hold it for him. And then he just cut them all at once. Um, in the different sizes, but you could do use a hand saw if you wanted or if you didn't have any uh, circular saw or couldn't use one. Um, I wouldn't want to use a circular saw myself, but I mean, I probably could, but um, you could use a hand saw and a miter box and do this quite easily, okay? So now all you have to do, like I said, this is, repos you can pull this out, um, is just pop this right down in here Right like that. Okay, so here's the finished tray. I absolutely love it. I think it turned out beautiful. Here it's what it looks like from here and the ends. And you can put something down in it. Um, I just have mine hot glued. This is a Mod Podge, 32 fluid ounces, and this is full. I haven't even used it yet. And you can see it's lifting this without any problem, but I would still recommend the either the E6000 fix-all adhesive and hot glue or something like that. Now this is a really tight fit. This might come back out, but because of these screws, I didn't take that into account. I don't know if I'd wanna to try to pry it back out. It might tear something so, up. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Until next time, bye guys.